With all the various watch brands out there, what is making TW Steel different and appealable to the consumer? We wanted to have a really luxurious watch for an affordable price point. And that immediately became very successful because everybody that we show it to, it's always, what, what do you think the price point is? And they always think it's like, you know, four or five thousand, you know, I mean, sometimes they crazy numbers what people think the value of the watch. And what is the price point? I mean, we start at $375, oh. and when we're going up to now 1,500, 1,600, but the core range is between five and 700. Can you tell me about the Mark Koblen collection? Yeah, uh, that's a new project that we've been working on for 18 months. TDB Steel is positioned more high-end. Uh, Mark Koblen is positioned uh, at a more affordable price point, sitting in more of a fashion environment. Would your demographic that buys TW Steel, would they buy Mark Koblen as well, or um, is it two separate demographics? No, 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 I think definitely it will appeal to the same people, but the people that shop at the really high-end stores is most likely a different audience than people that shop in fashion stores. So there will definitely be an overlap of people wearing that could wear a TDB Steel and a Marco blend. In the beginning, we definitely focused more on the male audience. Uh, the great thing was that we saw that the women loved the men's watches as well. But from a marketing perspective, we focused more on the, on the male audience. Right. Now we signed Kelly Rowland as an ambassador. She loved the product, she was wearing it already. And when we started to discuss, she was like really excited about doing the partnership. Ladies, we get a chance to rock the TW still. And we felt that she was just the perfect person for TW Steel to launch that new female strategy. But looking long term, we decided with my music background as well, so I have a big passion for music, I wanted to create a really powerful marketing tool. Uh, instead of going sponsoring everybody, why don't we build our own artists and do our own events? At Forbes, we, always, we, we promote where the foundation of entrepreneurship, and you have not ever attended university. You went no, right into the business. Can yes. you elaborate a little bit on that? The best advice is always you need to follow your instincts. If you believe in something, you know, just work as hard as you can to make it happen. Uh, and you know, sometimes certain directions, if you analyze it, it doesn't make sense, but if you believe in it, you just have to go for it. And now that we're here, we just want to be very strong all over the world. When they think of an oversized product, it's automatically that TDB Steel comes in their minds. Uh, I'm looking more at a Jordi perspective. Where do we see Jordi in the next five years growing his company yeah. on a universal level? Uh, well, I think what you've, what, what, you know, what we've been discussing here already is, you know, already two watch brands, the entertainment company. We quite quickly got involved with motorsport. And of course, uh, you know, the pinnacle of motorsport is Formula One. The, the marketing campaigns that you do, the incentives that we've, uh, that we've done with it, global promotions, it just makes such a big statement for such a young brand. Maybe look at doing other products under the, under the brand names because we have the network uh, that, we can, uh, that we can easily plug it in. So whether it's sunglasses or whatever, uh, the brand is getting stronger and stronger. So will yeah we'll grow the businesses that we have you know for me TDB Steel Marco Blend the Steel and Tame Group it's 24/7 so that's my life and i just want to live my life the way i want to live it